putting this jacket on I think was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a really, really good day today. For today's video, I've got an anti-haul for you, which I'm not gonna do like makeup I solely don't want. I'm gonna be just scrolling down trend mood and going through like all the new releases and telling you guys what I do and don't want to buy and stuff that maybe I already have brought. Who knows? <laughs> if you hear a little bit of noise, my window's open and I might have to take this jacket off in a minute because I'm so hot. But anyway, let's just get into the video. So I have my phone here to see what's what. Also, do you know what? Hold up, let me move to the side. And I'm gonna put the pictures here. Oh God, I'm so smart. So the first product I see on here is the Vanity Makeup Cosmetics Signature Palette. 12 eyeshadows with three different textures. Uh, for $95. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've not really heard of vanity makeup before. Should I have? I mean, the eyeshadows look really nice. The palette looks lovely. Uh, but I have all of these shades in my eyeshadow palettes already. So I'm definitely just going to skip on past this one. Thank you. Jaclyn Hill is coming out with a prep and pout celebration so it's a two-step smoothing system so you have the prepped and polished lip scrub which is $18 the hydro pout lip treatment which is $20 and the all about you lip prep essentials kit oh is that where you get both lip scrub and treatment okay I think I think that's right yeah two products so yeah so you can get them both Okay, so now I'm getting Texas. That's really not good. So yeah, you can get them both as a bundle, which I think is quite good. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get Jaclyn Hill on Morphe's website, I think. Uh, it's quite a good idea, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't really wanna try Jaclyn Hill products. Like I almost brought her highlighter palette and then like I was kind of glad that I didn't because it wasn't limited edition anyway. She's brought them out in singles, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm just... It sounds really nice, but I'm sorry, I just don't really trust you, Miss Jacqueline. Colourpop, ooh, Colourpop are coming out with a bare lippy pencil vault. Oh my god, these look so nice. So they're two new lippy pencil sets, which are $28 each. So they've got like a nudie, like browns kind of colour one, and then they've got like the more brighter ready coloured ones and they're honestly beautiful and i feel like 28 dollars is actually quite good i don't know what that translates to into pounds but um i am so tempted to do like a big order off of ColourPop. i'm just not even gonna lie i have some birthday money left over but i brought some high-end up makeup wait what did i just say but i brought some high-end makeup with it and i don't really want to then go and buy like a load off of ColourPop as well because i'm just gonna get that like, overrun but i really really like the look of ColourPop products and I watch Angelica Oles and she just loves ColourPop and I feel like I like a lot of the stuff she uses. I think I would really like ColourPop and I probably will do a like haul on there one day and do like a full face. Then we have got Desi Skin which is coming out with a super hydrating dew me over prep set and a refresh face mist so I'm guessing it's like a setting spray that you can also have as a primer. Um, it looks nice I've never really tried anything from them before it's $34 which is okay I, I pay that for Fenty or uh, urban decay so that's fine but yeah probably not something i'm gonna try to be honest oh pat mcgrath has came out with a new eyeshadow palette and i'm not gonna lie this looks gorgeous like gorgeous oh my god wow this is right up my street pat mcgrath is really pricey like really really pricey but i have been so tempted to buy an eyeshadow palette i just need that oomph you know someone should just push me to buy it you know the eyeshadow palette looks stunning i'm in love with like the shape like the shade shifting shades like the purple it looks oh and that like orangey to like brownie ready color oh my god that is just gorgeous and then you've got like the peachy tones the dark brown for like a wing liner i'm into this i I really don't need this eyeshadow palette, but I actually really, really want it. It looks right up my alley. She Glam is coming out with the Wild Heart collection, which looks quite 
cool. They look they look okay. I haven't really tried anything from She Glam before. The packaging on the outside of the palette irks me a little bit. It just kind of reminds me of like Minecraft packaging and um, like kids kind of makeup, like Claire's makeup. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That just sounds so rude. Um, it's just not really for me, to be honest. The shades in the palette look really nice, but yeah, it's just not really something I'm like massively into. Oh, Violet Voss are doing a collab with like Care Bears. And I used to watch Care Bears so much when I was a kid. Like I used to have like, I'm that old. <laughs> I used to have the like telly that was on the wall and you put like your um, videotape thing in the telly and it was like a big box fucking telly thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then you'd have to like rewind it, wait for it to get all the way back to the beginning. Oh God, yeah. I, but I did really used to love Care Bears and I've just lost where I am. And this is like nostalgic to me. Like I would buy it purely because like I used to love the Care Bears but truthfully I'm not going to use it and I'm not going to buy it I think you can only get it in Sephora anyway it looks like um but yeah uh, I love the idea of this palette and it is really cute then we have Etude which I don't think I've actually heard of before so this is the Play Colour Eyes Mint Chocolate Kit um is it an eyeshadow palette yeah it is so it's an eyeshadow palette and you get an eyeshadow brush which actually looks like a really good eyeshadow brush to be honest it it looks really good i don't really like this <laughs> this just isn't really a piece of me like i like the mint chocolate shade it looks cool but obviously like on the eyes i'm just not really sure how that's gonna look and everything else in the palette i already have in other palettes so like i don't really need this the packaging's nice but no sorry i feel like i'm being so negative so then jouer or jouer are coming out with these bronze and glow bronzer and highlight duos i feel like we're past this you know like the highlight and the bronzer duo things i feel like we're just past this they have three different shades for like three different skin tones and i feel like they're not that bad the highlight for the lightest one though still seems pretty dark to be honest and it's like a pinky kind of a highlight not really my vibe yeah i don't know no i'm not really not not really feeling this i feel like i'm being so negative so then we have someone who i don't really talk about that much on my channel anymore and that is jeffree star and that is because i don't support his brand anymore i don't agree with some of the stuff that he has said there's now kids shouting outside like honestly i just can't film in peace so he's coming out with the pink religion palette and i think mirrors and lipsticks and stuff and a setting spray i guess it's nice that he's coming out with stuff now that's not just like eyeshadow palettes but yeah no i won't be buying this plus a lot of the shades just look very similar anyway like and on the eyes they'd look the same so like, i don't need this i don't want this and i won't be buying it nars is coming out with the basic in instincts cheek quad for 39 dollars and it's got like you know the orgasm blush the orgasm x blush <laughs> Uh, behave and dolce vita which are i think they're all blushes aren't they they're all it's a blush quad yes no am i wrong i'm just not really into nars that much plus nars isn't cruelty free so i won't be buying them because although i have makeup in my collection that isn't called cruelty free i'm now only solely buying cruelty free i'm going to use the products that i have up and then I'll never buy from that brand again unless obviously they turn quarter free so i won't be getting these but the quads look nice they look pretty um and the swatches though i hate how they do swatches because like the swatches just aren't a true representation of what the shades look like like they they just look so edited emo oh i've not heard of these emo cosmetics I've not heard of these before, are coming out with like bronzer and blusher sticks. They look like really nice shades to be honest. So they look really cute, um, but I've never heard of them before and I don't think you can get these in the UK. I don't know. I really don't know. I've not heard of the brand before. But yeah, they're there if you would like them. Colourpop are also coming out with little quad eyeshadow palettes and I'm not really into quads. I prefer like nine pans. Nine pans are like my favourite because I feel like you can still get a, like a variety of looks whereas I feel like quads is just one look most of the time. So I'll be skipping on these. Thank you very much. 
KVD Vegan Beauty is coming out with the Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipsticks. These look really nice, to be honest. And I have been wanting to try some stuff from KVD because obviously Kat Von D is separated from the brand now, so I don't really mind buying from them anymore. They have like a nice variety of lip shades. Um, I might actually pick one of these up, truthfully, if like I can get through some of my lipsticks. I might actually pick one of these up and try it myself because they actually do look really, really nice. Elf is coming out with a bite-sized lip balm which have peculiar shades they have like just your normal kind of lip balm which is the mint scent then they have like a hot pink lip balm which no thank you but it is a watermelon scent and i love watermelon then they have like quite a like very warm orange shade which is coconut looks quite nice and then they have the berry shade which if i was going to get this is the one that i would get so they're there if you want them and then they also have the bite size brow palettes which you get like the wax and then the shadow in them i won't be picking them up but they're there if you would like them huda beauty is coming out with the legit lashes waterproof top coat okay what so it's a mascara that is waterproof tear proof sweat proof and smudge proof so i think this is it's like a clear this is actually quite a good idea this is like a clear mascara that you put on top of mascara that you already have on so i don't buy waterproof mascaras but if you like wanted to buy like a waterproof mascara but you know you're not going to use it that often instead of buying like a full waterproof mascara you could buy this and then say you're going to a pool and you do want to wear mascara not my vibe but you do you you could literally put this on on top of your mascara and it would make it waterproof i actually quite like the the sounds of this i won't buy it personally but i i actually do think that's quite a good idea and then glossier are coming out with these solar paints which are the bronzer versions of the cloud paints but they've changed the formula and from what i've heard the glossier or glossier cloud paints are insane i actually was gonna buy some of them but i brought a different cream blush instead but people are like fuming to be honest about these like personally so am i because if i'm gonna buy like a bronzer one i don't want it to be shimmery like these are shimmery they look more like highlighters and the shades are bizarre to me like they just are so like the lightest one flare it literally could it looks like a highlighter for like deep skin or like tan skin literally that is what it looks like it's like oh, i don't know it's like not the right kind of shade for a contour or bronzer and then you've got vault which is literally burgundy it's burgundy then you have ray which is literally gold like i just don't understand these i feel like they've gone and ruined a really good thing that they had going so not for me thank you okay so let's find something else to end on so then jacqueline hill is coming out with lip glosses for her birthday uh again i just won't really buy anything from jacqueline hill i'm not gonna lie the one that's like a champagne gold and then like the white glittery one i actually really like the look of i think these do look really nice and if i was gonna buy something from jacqueline hill i probably would buy these but i'm just not going to I kind of want to end on a high, but like truthfully, all the stuff that I'm seeing at the minute, I'm just not into. Oh my god, sorry, I was going to end it, but what on earth? Hula is coming out with the Hula Contourist Palette. Like, we've had enough of the Hula Bronzer now, have we not? So like, they are just running with this. And this makes no sense. They've got the Hula Light, original Hula, Hula Caramel, and Hula Toasted. If you can use Light and the original Hula you're not going to want to use Hula Caramel or Hula Toasted and vice versa. So why would you buy this palette? Benefit, are you okay? Like, I just don't even understand. Oh, Laura Mercier is coming out with translucent setting powders in Light Catcher. Um, so it's a setting powder that blurs smoothing the skin with no flashback and sets, sets makeup to prolong wear for 12 hours, exhausts excess moisture, reduces the control of shine, weightless texture melts into the skin. And these are just shades, I believe, of the translucent powder that they have. 
I actually really like Laura Mercier, their translucent powder anyway, but I would give these a go because they have uh, four different shades. And truthfully, I'm not gonna lie, this, the shade rate, it really isn't the best. They have like three shades I could use. So the bottom row of shades. So like the really pale one and the one that's a little bit deeper and then the pinky toned one, I could probably use all three. And then they have like a deeper one, which is literally like someone of like a medium complexion would be able to use. They're supposed to be translucent though. I suppose that's why, because they're like translucent, it's not like, like a full pigment. Oh, I don't know, but still, I think they could have gone a little bit darker with these, truthfully. Maybe got rid of like that shade in the middle on the bottom row. Maybe get rid of that shade in the middle and have done a even darker one that would have been good because then there's like two lighter ones and two darker ones that would have been fine but yeah i like the look of these i think i'm pretty sure laura mercier is cruelty free i'm pretty sure they are let me know if i'm wrong about that but if they are cruelty free i definitely will pick this up in my shade because i actually think these look really nice and i like the laura mercier setting powder anyway so i think i'm gonna leave that there because that's kind of the only high note i'm finding I've just changed my mind. I'm sorry, this is gonna be the last one. So Dior is coming out with these highlighters and these look stunning. Oh my God, the packaging is like a, um, like a cushion looking kind of packaging. Oh my God, these look stunning. And that pink shade there looks like it's like um, a shade shifting. So like it, it's pink, but it looks like in the light it would shine gold these look stunning i'd be able to use like the two at the top so like the silver and the pink i'm much more of, of a fan of the pink one because i think the silver one is just like a bit too much but these look stunning i actually genuinely might pick one of these up so these retail for oh it doesn't oh 48 dollars each you know what that's not that bad like i know it's a highlighter and 48 dollars for a highlighter is a bit excessive but if you did want to splash out they look nice. I genuinely might pick one of those up. Okay, so I've been filming for way longer than I expected to. This wasn't supposed to be that long of a video. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a um, chat of mouth and I can't stop talking and I love talking about makeup. So I apologize, uh, but I'm gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was quite a negative video, but I just feel like makeup brands are getting a little bit lazy with stuff now. And yeah, I feel like I'm a lot more picky with my makeup because I'm trying to cut down and I, f I, I purposely look for reasons not to buy stuff now. So sorry if it was a little bit negative, but nonetheless, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe if you're new around here because I post videos like every three days at the minute. So I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to see some more from me, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss any of my future uploads and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.